Hey everybody, so today I'm gonna to show you how to hatch praying mantis eggs. Now I know this is kind of random, but I've been wanting to do this for a long time on this channel, especially since it's springtime and a lot of people are selling them at this time of year, so I might as well do a tutorial on it. Also, this is very fun if you're a parent. If you've got kids, you can hatch them out, you can let them go in the yard, they'll eat your aphids, it's just a super fun experience overall. So let's get into it. I'm gonna open the box that came in the mail. Oh, and by the way, there's an eBay link in the description if you wanna try this out for yourself. Let's get right into it. A little paper there. Next we have the mantis eggs. So in here's a little pouch we got a couple mantis eggs. That's really cool. They look good. Okay so this is the mantis egg. They look really weird. They're kind of light and it doesn't really feel like it would be an egg. It's got like little it looks kind of foamy like that. And on the back you can see where the stick used to be. So when the female laid onto the stick you can see where the, the groove was. And then there's a second one too. These usually come with two. Anyway, let's go grab the container and then set these guys up so that they're ready to hatch. Okay, so the basic things that you'll need are a container like this, like a Tupperware or like a jar like this. So it doesn't really matter. I like to use this because it's larger. Um, I also put ventilation holes. Make sure if you use a jar, you have those. And the most important part, whichever one you're using, is to have some kind of substrate or paper towel in the bottom. This is to hold humidity because if the mantis eggs dry out, they'll die. So basically, um, I just put like maybe three or four layers of paper towel in here. Um, you can also use like eco earth or coconut fiber or uh, sphagnum moss. That also works very well. Next, you'll need a tight fitting lid. So on this jar, just make sure that it closes really well. And on this one, just make sure that no mantis could get out because that's important. It'll be like 150 to 200 in here and you don't want those crawling all over your house. So just keep that in mind. Um, next, to keep the container humid, you'll need water. So I just have distilled water. You can probably use tap water, but I like to be a little safer and use distilled water. And to spray the distilled water, I use just a normal spray bottle. Just make sure it's a fine mist so that it works well. And of course, you'll need your mantis eggs. So what I do for this, is I glue them, let me focus this real quick, I glue them onto a popsicle stick. So about a third of the way there, I just put some glue on, I dab some on there, and I wait a few seconds to where it cools down slightly so I don't hurt them, and then I just press them on. Um, and the reason we're doing this is because when these mantises hatch, they um, hang down on these little threads, and they, they come down about two inches. So if they're on the floor of the container, they won't have anywhere to hang and they won't be able to hatch well. So a lot, so you'll get, probably get a lot of dead ones. So make sure it's elevated. That's probably one of the most important things about hatching these. So with that in mind, let's set up the tank. So there's one thing I want to mention. So there's this article I found. There'll be a link in the description for this if you're interested. But it's called that. So basically, I found a picture which I think will help you guys understand um, the mantis' eggs. So here's a diagram. You can see how the each individual egg is lined up inside of the foamy like sac. So there's like this outside layer of like foamy stuff, and it's very um, like air can pass through it easily. It's like permeable, and then there's like this harder section inside where all the eggs are. So they're lined up in a zigzag pattern, as you can see, like a little herringbone. And when they're ready to hatch, all of a sudden they all wiggle out in between the little zigzags and they come out of the top like that. So you can get an idea about how many mantis eggs there actually are inside of the sack. Okay, so basically what you got to know before we start is make sure they're warm, make sure they're off the floor um, at least three inches, and make sure that the container is humid. And that's basically it. So once they hatch, which will take anywhere between two to six weeks or so, depending on how long ago they were laid, they'll hatch almost every time unless they're infertile. So the last thing you gotta know is you gotta make sure you spray them once in a while. So if you're in a more humid uh, state in the United States or wherever you live, um, you don't have to water them as much, but I live in Arizona and it's very dry here. So I have to spray them very often, usually every other day or so. So what I do is I just spray the sides and then in the front a little bit and then inside of the paper towel. And that's it. And then all you gotta do is close the top and then you just leave that there in your house and then you gotta check it like at least once a week, you're gonna to wanna to check it um, a little bit more than that as you near like the four week mark because at that point, they are pretty much about to hatch. So, all right guys, well that's basically it. That's all you gotta to know to be able to hatch these. Um, I'll do a separate video on once they hatch. So this is important. We'll get into like feeding them and stuff and whether or not you're gonna let them go or not and stuff. 
Um, there'll be a, a future video coming out for that once these guys hatch. I'll try to film it. It'll be really cool. Um, with that being said, I want to see you guys next time in the next video.